hi guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this tutorial we're going to learn how to merge tables in power bi now before we get started with this particular tutorial i want to let you guys know that if you guys like this particular design of the dashboard i have made a tutorial on how to create this dashboard just yesterday please watch that video it's there on my channel or you can also click on this card top right side and watch that video right so let's get started with this tutorial what I have is I have a data set over here which has a sales record and the returns right so this is the sales that I have this is the fact table wherein I have about 53,000 rows and then I have the returned quantity of those orders and wherein I have about 251 orders right now let's jump back into the BI and I have imported those tables over here the 50,000 sales records and the return table now let's click on these three dots over here and get into edit query which is the power query editor here is where you will you can merge tables now what you need to do is you need to click on merge queries over here if when you click on this drop down here you get two options merge queries and merge queries as new right so merge queries and merge queries as new the difference here is when you say merge queries the data will get merged into the table where in you are editing in that case for example it is the 50,000 sales record so when I join two tables the data is going to be available in this particular table only right but when you click on merge queries as new then a new table gets created with the joins that we have created okay so let's go ahead and create merge queries as new so once you click on that a dialog box appears over here asking you to select so the first table here is already selected which is our 50,000 sales record and then on the second here we let us select return okay and over here now we need to define what are our uh, columns here which which needs to be joined for example in this particular scenario we have order id in the sales table and then we also have order id in our return table so let us select order id here as well now we need to select what kind of a join that you want between these two tables now to explain that a little more about joins how joins work if you don't know about joins uh, so there are four types of majorly there are four types of joins that are available left join right join inner join and full join now what this basically is saying is when you say left join it is saying that you need all of the data from the left table irrespective whether it matches in the right table or not and also get the matching data from the and get the matching data from the right table now what i exactly mean by that it might get be confusing if you are new to this uh, the joining uh, if you're not aware about how the joins work but let me explain once again to you so this is my orders table wherein i have all the sales orders i have 50000 odd records okay and then here is my return table wherein i only have about 200 odd rows so, so when i say left join what it basically saying is i need the data of all the sales record from this table which is 50000 plus records along with that you get me the information from the return table wherever the return has happened so essentially what is going to happen is against this order id let us say 939 order has not been returned so i'm going to create another column over here which is the return column and that is going to be blank but let's say 426 order has been returned so that column over here will be returned as yes okay so we will get all the rows from this table and we will get only the matching rows from this table that is what left outer join essentially means likewise we have right join in right join what happens is we will get all the rows from this table and from this table we will only get the matching rows we will get all joins from this table and only the matching joins or matching rows from this particular table and then we have inner join inner join is basically saying as that give us the or return the rows wherever there is a match for example we have 249 rows in this get the rows of from this data only where there is a match don't return the rows if you if there is no match okay and then there is full join 
you get me the data from uh, the both the tables irrespective whether there is match or not okay this is what it essentially means so in this particular case i'm going to show you two things one is i'm going to show you how left join works and then i'm going to show you how inner join works okay so let's get started let's go back to the power query here so let's begin with creating a left outer join so when you click on this drop down you have different kind of joins that are available we, let, we went through these four uh, so let's go ahead with left outer join and then let's click on ok so the moment you click ok you see that a new table has been created with the name merge one so this is because we selected here as merge queries as new table okay so we will just say this as sales new left join okay and then let's enter this and let us see what has happened here so if we come towards the end of the table here we will see that there's a new column that is created called return and it has table values now let us expand this just click on this button over here and we don't need all the columns because we already have order date order id and ship date in our data and we only want to know whether it is returned or not yes or a no okay and then it says use original column as prefix i'm okay with that and then you can click on okay so the moment you do that you will see that these two the first two orders have been returned it says yes and then the third row it says none no the order has not been returned likewise if we if i, I if i go here and select yes it will tell me that there are 199 plus rows essentially about less than 300 rows are there in this particular data set which have returned and then when i click on no or null here these are the records which are not matching or do not have return data in my return table so it has returned this as null right you will expand this you'll, you'll understand this further when i explain to you about the inner join function so let's go and change this particular uh, um, query here to give us the inner join details okay so let's close this and apply okay let's close this and apply so you will see that a new table has created before we jump onto our inner join a new table here is created saying left sales new left join so this is our left join table now let us create the inner join table let's go here click on edit query and go to merge queries merge query as new and let's select order id and let's select return let's select order id here and then let's select inner join only matching rows so when you click on this it will tell you that the selection matches 278 of 53,000 records in our sales table okay so let's click on okay and then we've got a new table now sales inner join okay let's click on okay and now let us expand this column just like we did in the last table on we only need the return so we have the return column now so as, if you can see now we only have about 249 rows in this particular data set let's close this and apply just give it a moment while it loads so it said that we have 278 rows in this let's quickly populate the data here in a table uh, let me get order id and let me get whether it is returned or not and you can you can always rename this and just say return okay and then we have our return now so if you can see here we have all the rows of the order ids including the returns so let me just scroll down and see where the returns are or if you don't see over here you can simply go to the filter section and on return click yes we're not able to see the return value as s over here so let's quickly go to the edit query and see what has happened so if we go to the edit query we can see that we have applied a filter here on filtered rows so i'm going to get rid of that and we filtered the rows here to say yes while i was showing you the in the tutorial so let's close and apply now and go back to the table that we just created and uh, and on this particular filter over here we will see the yes values as well now just give it a second we, we now have the return values as well 
So let me just scroll down to see where I have the return values. Uh, I don't find anything. So let me just click on yes over here and get the return values. So these are all, all of my return values and also my non-return values. Now the same thing if let's say if I create another table here, but this time I will bring in the values from the sales inner join table. Okay, I'm going to bring in the order ID from here. Let me just get rid of these two and then get the return from the order from the sales inner join. Now what happens is that if you see here, uh, let me get rid of this. So here if you see, we don't have the blank values over here. This data is only about the matching values from the return table with the sales table. However, on, when, when we did the left join, this is all of the data from our sales table and returning only the uh, uh, returning wherever our sales, right? So that's about it. Uh, so we have now understood how the left join and the inner join works and you've learned how you can join tables within Power BI and using the Power Query editor. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.